Can you keep a secret? My mind wanders. Nobody knows it, but I'm only half here. That's not the only thing they don't know. It's a crummy job. It's true. And if they knew that, they'd fire me in a minute. We need more plates out here. Almost clean. Fact is, I've hated every job I've ever had. I even hated jobs that I didn't have because I deserved to have them. Like that bank teller job. Crap with those plates. Almost ready. That bank teller job would have been pretty good thing with partial benefits and stuff but those bankers they have a thing against me just because I don't carry around a briefcase full of money and drive around in a Mercedes they filled out the application and everything and they never even called me in for an interview I hated that job Personals. This weird lady, Rima, wants to meet me, but I know she's a dog. It's the sound of her voice. It's kind of you know, hollow and weird sounding. And she breathes funny through her nose, I think. And she doesn't say much of anything. It's like she calls me up just to breathe. Can you keep another secret? I think I have a television inside my head. My mind wanders and I'm, I'm only half here. It's like I'm watching TV when my daydream starts. Marty says if you don't get those plates out here in five minutes, you can look for another job. Well, there's a bunch in the washer. They're almost clean. You're a liar. What time is it? 4.55. Finally. I thought it would never start. Time for my daydream. Time for a little warmth. Friendship. You know what I mean. Daydream show, I can do anything, anything I please, and if, as if by magic, I don't get in trouble. See this plate? <laughs> See this cup? See this fork? Ah. 
This is Overlord. Do you read me? Overlord, you have the links. Overlord, you have the links. You can't. What do you think, Chet? You I don't know, Steve, but I don't like it. You have the links. What's the problem? Overlord, this is Leonard. Daydream in progress. I repeat, daydream in progress. They've got handguns! Look out! Comedy. <laughs> this is the David Butterman Show. I'm your old friend, David Butterman, but you can call me Dave. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You all right? Hey, Mike, I don't think they're listening. <laughs> they are the show, Dave. Boy! <laughs> the David Butterman Show with David Butterman. I like him a lot. I just call him Dave. Funny, friendly, we have a lot in common. <laughs> oh, he's looking at me. Yeah, he's looking at me. Sometimes I wonder if he can't see me. He's one of those kind of friends that doesn't know you, but you can get real close to. Pretty soon we're gonna be talking together like old friends. Here, I got this for Dave. You might have to uh, open it for him, though, if we have to tie him up. Got the rope? All right, let's go then! <laughs> Tension building as we get closer to the TV station? Yes, sir. <laughs> Good. Then uh, add some tension music then. You gotta understand something about Mike. He's shy, totally bashful, and completely socially awkward. Talk to Mike. No comment. <laughs> What's this script doing here? Oh no 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 I've never hijacked a TV station before. No, I'm just the assistant manager at a Happy's. Don't you ever mention that place in my daydream again. Do you understand me? You're forbidden to leave this car. You're forbidden to name Dave. That's your punishment. Lordliness. The rest of you, follow me. I'm spontaneous. Just like a relative that comes over to visit. Aren't we, Mike? Oh, <laughs> 
So anyway, where are we? Mr. Mick Jagger, please. You can't, is this the right number? Who am I speaking with? Who am I speaking with? Please. No, 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 There's something I gotta tell you. I thought you were in jail. They let me go on good behavior. <laughs> you? Oh, come on, son. I tuned in to tell you. I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you or your mother. I was too caught up in myself to think about anybody else. I was a goddamn fool, wild man. And I never got a chance to tell you. I never. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm crying again. <laughs> you can cry. I've never seen you cry before. Son. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Look at yourself, you, you're going to whip it up. <laughs> if your mother could see you like you are now, she'd be proud of you too. And you're going to whip it up. God bless you, son. I guess that's all I got to say. you there for a minute. I know what you're thinking. Why have I called you back here? Well, I'm a banker who made a damn fool mistake. I should have hired you on the spot. Bank teller? Is this about the bank teller job? Forget about that stupid job. We're talking big time here. You're too smart to be a teller boy. I sense you have strong leadership qualities. Daring and charisma, ambition, conviction, the team player attitude, and all these things spell banker. I want to take you, you buddy, on as my right-hand man. But you have to be willing to accept a probationary salary of $80,000 a year. $80,000 a year? Okay, okay. Make it $100,000. But I, I can't go hang out. That's not enough? What? If that's not enough, I'd be willing to throw in a handsome benefit package. 
and you'd be more than welcome at my condo in Hawaii. My wife can have you over for special dinners on a regular basis, and we could go skiing and, and see the opera and work out together at the health club. Work hard, play hard, you understand. You want that? Does that sound good to you, buddy? I'll take it. That's just what I want. Well, make it 120,000. What the hell? And then we can pal around and have good times, drink scotch, and sit by the fire with our wives at our sides. Oh, we'd be the best of friends. That sounds so warm. Warmth and companionship. There's nothing like it. I want that. I want that. I want all of that. I'm Rima. He told me to leave you alone, and then he hung up on me. You're Rima? I thought you were, uh, different than you are. Oh, man. Boy, was I wrong. I, I guess, uh, I guess that's what happened. Yeah. Oh, ah. Uh, I guess this is for you. For me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I never meant to hang up on you. Here. I'll, I'll open it for you. I got it for you. For me. <laughs> Damn it, I tied it too tight, I guess. There we go. <laughs> got this for you. There we go. Almost open. <laughs> it's for you. personal lad, you're slim, athletic, Uh, overlord, Leonard. 
You're a good cameraman. Well, uh, time to go home and watch some TV. <laughs> Hey, Leonard. See you tomorrow. I didn't hear me. Oh, well. funny thing um, on the bus riding into work and uh, I saw this guy run over by a truck <laughs> I'm just kidding you think I was serious oh, you didn't believe me did you oh Mike they believe me that's a bad sign <laughs> well it doesn't matter um, well we got a great show for you tonight ladies and gentlemen um, got a mystery guest for you but guess what I'm not going to tell you who he is until he gets here. It's a surprise. <laughs> Give me a little surprise music, Mike. And don't surprise me.